we will have to find the value of R for which the energy stored in the capacitor will be same as that stored in the inductor under DC conditions. So this energy stored in the capacitor is half CV square and the inductor is half Li square and under DC this circuit will become like this. So this will be an open circuit and this will be a short circuit and then there is this R. So this is 2 ohms. So this voltage here is the V, the voltage across the capacitor and this current that will flow through the resistor R is the current, this current which is the current through the inductor. So we can try working that out here. So, this is two parallel branch R and register R and 2 ohms register and this is the current. So, current I will be 2 plus R and the full current is 5 here and the other resistance, so this one, this should be current I. And the voltage V will be, of course, the voltage drop across the resistor R will be the voltage V. So it will be 2 R 2 plus R into 5. So the current times the resistor. So we can say 10 R 2 plus R. So this is the current and this is the voltage. Now half C which is 160 into 10 to the power minus 6 in terms of farad v v is this one 10 r 2 plus r 10 r over 2 plus r whole square is equal to half l 10 to the power minus 3 and i is 10 2 plus r this one also square so we can say this is half 160 into 10 to the power minus 6 this one we can say 10 2 plus r whole square r here r square we can take the r square out 10 to the power minus 3 10 2 plus r whole square now we know that 10 over 2 plus r this is not 0 because register is a positive value so this is not 0 so we can divide both the sides by this value so we can get rid of that we get 116 to 10 to the power minus 6 r square is equal to 1 fourth so we are nearly there I guess so r square will be so this is half sorry so this one this one going away this is 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 and this is 160 into 10 to the power minus 6 so this division is 25 so R is becoming 5 ohms. So that should be the value of R.